My name's Mark Fennell and I'm probably best known as that movie guy for Triple J, but I'm also an SBS presenter and this year I'll be co-hosting Chopfest in at Centennial Park and on SBS too, which is terrifying. <laughs> it's a first for you, isn't it? Yes. I've done lots of sort of guest spots and I, and I was part of the telecast last year. I, I helped kind of pad basically is what I did. <laughs> let's, let's not beat around the bush. I helped them pad. Uh, but this you year... You were the fluff. I, yeah, I was the fluff. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. But this year I'm part... I'm one of the three co-hosts, so it's me and... Adam Spencer and Yumi Steins, and we're all sharing it equally. It's the new location because they've moved from that iconic space at the uh, at the domain to uh, Centennial Park. New time of year, new channel, and so as a result of that, it's bigger and yet tighter, and hopefully brighter and more entertaining. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. And. Um... What, do you know anything about any of the films yet? Have you heard much about what you're going to get to see on the night? Oh, I've seen all the films. I've seen oh, I've seen all the films. I can't tell you anything about them, but I've seen them all. Uh, and actually, what's fun about this year? And actually, I think the thing that is fun about Tropfest in general, because the the thing I like about Tropfest more than other film festivals, because Australia has a thousand short film festivals, is that it's a social event mm. and that everyone gets to have their say. What makes Tropfest fun is that everyone gets on their picnic rug or they're at home mm. and you bitch and you moan. And you're like, actually, that one I can't like and that's what's fun about it yeah. and so what we're doing this year and part of the reason there are three hosts and, and, and three kind of area locations is that we're going to start folding in live tweets of what people have been saying uh, what uh, what the VIP people are saying as they're seeing it what you're saying at home so all of those that we're trying to capture that social element to Tropfest because that's actually what makes it unique. In this day and age of YouTube and Vimeo and stuff like that, there are a million and one ways for you as a short filmmaker to, to make it. But what is important and distinct about Tropfest is is actually how popularised it has made the, fo the, the, the format of short film for mm. the audience. And the reason that works is because the audience get to have a say and, and be part of it. And that's the thing we want to kind of capture in the telecast this year. There really is no other event in the world like it in that respect that gets that sort of wide commercial attention totally uh there's there really is nothing quite like and i i was thinking when i first kind of was approached to to do uh the the hosting of it i actually kind of thought about it for a bit because it was like actually there is nothing quite like this mm. um and everyone like for years i've been a person that goes and watches chop first and i love to have you know my bitchy say about the <laughs> film everyone does right that, yeah. that's what's fun about it. but there is you've got to hand it to them in the sense that they've really popularized the short film as an audience event like there are plenty of short film festivals that really only exist for filmmakers to kind of hone their craft and and move onwards and upwards but what is and then there is obviously that element and it's certainly the most high profile version of that but in terms of making short film an audience event that people you know families mums dads you may get mm. to sit down and argue and and talk about that's really unique and whatever you know you necessarily think of the films uh that's, I think, the thing that, that, that needs to be celebrated and the thing that needs to be enjoyed. Mm. And I think something as well, I, I think everyone who's watching it thinks about what they would have done and, mm. and the film that they might have made. Is that something that you've thought of in the past? And have you ever started a process of perhaps putting a film <laughs> together for Trump first? Uh, I, as a, uh, somebody who's been a film critic for, for coming up on 10 years now, I actually think the worst kind of... Film critics are people that sit there and think like filmmakers. Yeah. The worst kinds of film critics are people that sit there and just think, oh, well, I would have directed it like this. The, I, I tend to watch something as a, I classify my role as a professional audience member. Mm. I'm the person that sees movies 10, 15 days before you and then I'm like, oh my God, I just saw this thing and it's fucking terrible. Or it's <laughs> fucking brilliant. Um, that's that's functionally uh, my role. I, so I, when I'm watching films like that, I, I don't think about it as in what I would do. I do think about it as in... Uh, I think that could be tighter. I think yeah. I see what you that point. So I, I think about it critically, but it's not as a filmmaker. As for whether or not I've actually made a film years ago, I have a I have a history with Trotfest that goes back to when I was about fourteen. Mm. So when I was fourteen years old, before anyone really knew what Trotfest was, it was before it was super famous. Um, before it was cool. Bef <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I got some friends together. I'm like, "This is the go drop person. You can win all this money. Let's totally make a film." And, it, and I did, and it was shit. Yeah, it was so. Mon I live in fear that one day somebody at the Top Fest offices will, dish out, will fish out this film and went, oh, that guy, um, because it was so bad. And it was so bad that I, I made another one just to check that I was bad. And it's really only that when I was 19, SBS uh, hired me to start talking about movies on the movie show when David and Margaret left to go to the ABC. Mm. 
Otherwise, I would probably still be making shit Tropfest films. <laughs> my job, I, I found my calling as somebody that likes to talk about films and, 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 and relish in that, not make them. It's And, and look, I, I'm, I'm a television producer as, as well. I produce a, a show for SBS and I present a show for SBS. So I still have that creative, that mm. crafting instinct, but I directed into kind of factual television. I Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I have no aspirations to make a short film for Tropfest. <laughs> Yet. I, I'm going to safely say that I don't think, and you're right, you should never say never, but it's not something I, I held any aspiration yeah, towards. Fair enough. But I mean, you know what? You can use this against me in four <laughs> years' time if you really need to.